Which brings us to Brighton and the field hockey team to beat in a story we call Trending Upwards. Six years ago, Sean Metz was the coach of the Brighton Alpine ski team. When he was asked if he'd also be interested in coaching field hockey, why not? I had only seen a couple games. I didn't have any exposure to the to sport. Um, but once I accepted the job, I spent some time working with the, the varsity coach, uh, attended a couple clinics, uh, did a little bit of reading, um, and then got started. And certainly there was a steep learning curve. My first, uh, I would say my first three years, and I'm, I'm surely still learning, but, um, but that's how it all got started. Two years at junior varsity level, um, and then I became the varsity coach. And when I became the varsity coach, I also inherited the modified team, which plays in the spring. So I was really coaching two seasons a year. So you really, you know, you can learn a lot uh, coaching two different teams at, at two different, very different levels throughout the year. The results have been dramatic. Talk about trending upward. In Sean's first year as a head coach, the Barons were three and 13, then seven and nine, 12 and four. And this year, 15 and one. It isn't just results, it's how they're achieving them. Brighton scored 56 goals in their 16 games, 14 more than the next nearest team. Keely Samsonik and Molly Case combined to score 31. That's more than eight teams. And they still have a year left. With 18, Samsonik was second only to Menden's Matty Riley. Keeley used to be a soccer player. What's, what's the best part of it for you? You know, I think it's just like, it's just something so new because I used to play soccer. So just like hitting it with like a stick and like being able to like do all those dodges, it just, just fascinates me. It's just so much fun. We spent a lot of time shooting. Um, certainly there's a strength aspect and we spent a lot of time in the off season working and conditioning and, and strength um, to have that nice strong shot. Um, and then couple that with just a lot of practice, shooting drills um, and a lot of movement and practice. We're constantly shooting on the goals, constantly shooting on the goals, constantly putting the kids in situations in front of the goal where they can practice shooting. Um, so I, I'd like to tell you that's what it takes, uh, but it's, it seems to work out for us. Field hockey is to most an afterthought, if it even exists. Only 11 schools in Monroe County offer the sport, and except for Hilton, they're all on the east side. Soccer certainly has a corner of the market. Uh, I think in the, it's specifically in the younger age groups, but uh, there's a lot of athletes out there, and uh, it'd be great for some, some athletes to try something different, I think. Case in point. Well, in seventh grade, I was just looking for something to do, and my friend told me about field hockey. And at that time, I hadn't, I didn't have another sport to play, so I went out and tried it, and I loved it. And I've just been doing it ever since. Is that important when we talk about, you know, just looking for something to do? But you know, again, after school, it's great to have that thing, isn't it? Yeah, um, I always think that I'm happier and I do better in school when I'm playing a sport. So field hockey was really good for me. A lot of hustle. All right, there's a three. One, two, three. Yeah!